we've been track here with us this week. Mm -hmm. We've been hooking you up with some really fun options for really cool getaways up north. Thanks to M here, who over the last two days has taken us all over Lake Mille Lacs to show us some really cool winter adventures, right? Yeah, yeah. And this is what's really neat about it because it's about the Do the Lake campaign. They're really cool. going all out with this, which of course includes checking out area restaurants too. Well, today we're finishing up the series with one of the most enjoyable adventures I did. Also, one of the scariest for me. But first, we're trading in the cold for more of an island feel. All right, so my trip up north today takes me to a place called Toucans. And even though it's a little chilly out here today, I'm told that inside it's going to make us feel nice and warm and maybe even a little tropical. There's a saying up north that the lower the wind chill, the warmer the hospitality. And that is certainly the case here. I'm a Jimmy Buffett fan and <laughs> I love the uh, style. When I first walked in here instantly, I said, okay, this is my place. It's tropical, it's fun, it's bright. And then you go out there, you still feel Minnesota. So that's kind of a twofer. It works to your benefit. It, it really does. And you come inside, it makes you feel a little warmer. It's not just the bright walls and the fun decor that were working in our favor here. It was the food. From the walleye bites to the bourbon burger, there was nothing that didn't satisfy our hunger cravings. But it was this sandwich that was really good. This is the Clubhouse Grill. It's full of shaved ham and turkey, has melted cheese, and barbecue sauce. And then it's grilled on bakery bread. I needed nourishment. I needed to really fill up because I'm going to ice fish today. First time. Any advice for me? Love it. Um, be patient. You always have to be patient. Uh, you can even try spearing at some point. But uh, ice fishing, what's fun about it is you're going to be in a, in a shack. It's not sitting on a pail. Can I take it to-go order? That way, if we have a lot of downtime, I can just sit there and maybe share some food? We do do a lot of to-go orders. We have a ton of to-go containers. Uh, simply for that, people bring out to their fish house. And uh, yeah, the uh, pizzas, that's one of the main reasons we got those. People love to have those in their fish house. Getting to the ice house is a challenge on its own, and that means driving on a frozen lake, something I'm a bit nervous about. But once I arrive, it's game on. Best part, you go from a warm car to a warm house. Hi. Oh, hi there. <gasps> well, this is it, huh? This is it. This is pretty nice. I came with, I always feel like you have to have a housewarming gift. But check this out. Sweet. Oh, a taco pizza from Toucans, because my buddy Darren over there said that this could be something that could take all day. It is. Okay. It is. I mean, it's, we, we don't rush into anything out here. This is way nicer than I thought. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, well, this is one of our medium sized rentals. It's 12 by 24. We've got the two double beds on one side, the three singles on the other side, the indoor bathroom, TV. It's. There's a bathroom, because that was honestly my next question, really. If you're like me and you've never done something like this, you might be surprised that there are already several holes drilled in the ice. And there's something called a rattle reel attached to the wall. So you hook up your bait, send it down about 30 feet of water, and then just sit back and wait for this. When that fish comes to grab it, he's going to take it, and you're going to hear that rattle. Oh, that's the, okay, so that's what that rattle is for. Yep, exactly. There's that sound of the guy's moving. It's totally fine. She, yeah, she, she, really, she really likes the, uh, the, the ice here today, and it's, it's making a little bit of noise. It's not real bad today, but it, it is making some noise, and, and for the person that's not used to it, uh, it, it is diff definitely a different sound. Now we hang out. We, we can have two two lines per person. Okay. So we'll kind of put a couple more down, and then I've got a cribbage board behind us too. Where this is sounding better by the second. I'm. This is I'm telling you. This is like really great. It is. Okay. Okay. Let's play go fish. After some games, I realized there's another way to ice fish. A very relaxing way. So what's a really good day on the ice? Fifty fish is is what? is a really good day. Fifty. Sure. sure. Yep. Are you kidding me? I honestly was gonna say like I thought 10, 50. Yep. Well, and in oh ten, and ten is a good day too. But yeah, that's oh th there are certain lakes and and prime times. But if, if you can go out here and fish and and especially if you're gonna work at it a little bit more, th Whoa. there's there's times when you can catch a lot of fish. Technology has helped make things a bit easier. There's equipment that you can use to help find and see fish in the area. How, how many fish have you seen over there? Um, I've seen a handful, but they seem to just go right by me. You know that saying, beginner's luck? Didn't really work in this case, but here's the cool thing. I really enjoyed myself. In fact, I had a lot of fun, and I'll probably be back. You cool with me coming back? I'm ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, sister, final number, final tally. Oh, I'm getting excited. Fish? Zero. We had zero the whole time. But I had a ball, and I literally, you think I'm kidding? I want to go back. If the girl that loves the heat, 
Yeah. Love this. Anybody can do it. I'm totally doing it. Because that is tailor made. That is those are things that I would put on a list that Emily yep. doesn't like, but yep. somehow the combination Loved. of them all you liked them. I know, it was crazy. It was a lot of fun. And there are several really cool. spots up north where you can rent those ice houses. And for more information on how you can do the lake and for a look back at all of our adventures, go to Twin Cities Live and dot com and then just click on fun. Of course, a big thanks also to the Malax Area Tourism Council for sponsoring Twin Cities Live. Well still